One thing about social media is the fact that you try to pass a message, then people try to like want to twist the narrative. They want to like twist the what you're trying to say to paint a different a different picture. Uh, because uh, I saw a post made by the foremost comedian in Africa, Alibaba, this morning. The post that says, um, "Tell him from me, is stronger than a degree." And he went for that to say, "Learn, remember, learn." to build contact and good relationship. Simple message, straightforward. Then I was so shocked to see certain comments. So kind of a must, a social media kind of comments. I was so shocked to see them. People saying this is how corruption started in Nigeria and this is the origin of corruption. Are you kidding me? Like seriously? Now, let me give you instances of how relationship and good contact works now the message never said don't have a degree he only said tell him from me he's stronger that means both of them are important but when you have a degree and you now have good contact and good relationship it puts you ahead of others let me give you practical examples at workplace for for those that work at workplace there are internal opportunities that comes that they just need somebody to fill a role or they will have like a program where you refer referral program where you refer people you can refer friends where you where, where there's a vacancy right why do you think they do that they feel that for you to be working that kind of organization you must, you must have no one or two persons that you have contact or relationship with that can do that job as well. So when there's an opportunity, they give, they give you the right, they give you the privilege to refer a friend, right? So let's assume that 10 people are applying for a position as an HRO and, and, one, and, and the staff recommended people. Out of those 10 people, five were recommended by by staff of the organization. If you are an HRO, whose CV will you consider first? Remember, this is not saying that those people are not qualified. The 10 people are qualified, but out of the 10, they just want to pick like maybe eight persons, right? There is a tendency that they will give priority to those that were referred by, by internal staff before any other person. That is power of relationship. That is power of, of good, uh, good contact. People, people are on LinkedIn. What do you do on LinkedIn? On li LinkedIn is basically building network with people of like minds. So where there is a, a job opportunity or there is any type of opportunity, they refer you, they share with you, they share with their contact. That doesn't mean that others don't have the same qualification, but you stand a chance of getting considered before any other person. That's the power of referral. Tell him from me. It's just like it's a, it's a, it's a referral. Even in the, okay, let's even go outside of there. In this country, Republic of Ireland, if a reverend father gives you a recommendation, so long you are qualified for that thing you are seeking for, for that position or whatever you are seeking for, whatever favor you need, you will be paid priority, like you will be given attention. There's 99% chance that you're going to get that request sorted. Because they believe that for a reverend father to recommend this person, this person must be of good, be, be of good character. Or take for instance now, for for those that are in the UK, imagine getting a, a recommendation or a letter-headed recommendation from the Buckingham Palace, and you are qualified for the role or a position. Who do you think will deny you that position? And how will you get that? Is it not true contact and the good relationship? Okay, let's go outside the world. Let's go to family life. When parents pass on, before they pass on, they write their will. In the will, it tells which, which of the children is not is there is the parents' favorite. Why did they do that? Because they have a level of relationship with, with, with the children. So it tells on the, in the will. That doesn't mean the father doesn't love the rest of children. No. Or you want us to talk about the word of God, like I'm a Christian. Let me give you stances from the Bible. When it was time for, for Isaac to get married, what did Abraham do? He sent his servant to go and look for a wife for Isaac. 
Oh, you want the Bible to tell you that when the servant got there, he told them that I'm from Abraham. No, no. Because this, they knew who the servant was coming from. They, did, they don't have to argue. Because they have a relationship with Abraham. So all the servant needed to do when he get there is just to say, I'm from Abraham. And they will, they, they will just grant his request. Simple as ABC. Right? Okay, Abraham might be too complicated. Take it down to Jonathan and David. Jonathan and David, they were good, they were good friends. After David, uh, after the Jonathan passed on and uh, David became king, it was time to, to show favor to somebody from uh, Jonathan's family. What did he do? He was looking for, he couldn't get anybody until he was able to find Ziba. And Ziba had a contact with Mephibosheth. Uh, he now mentioned that ah, there's one son of uh, um, Jonathan called Mephibosheth. David had to show Mephibosheth's favor. Why did he do that? Is it not because of the contact or the good relationship he had with Jonathan? Oh, you, what, um, uh, let's even look okay, let's even leave there first. Come to come to the story of uh, Peter that his mother-in-law was sick and Jesus went to visit went to visit uh, Peter and he found out that mother-in-law was sick of fever. What did he do? He hid the mother-in-law. The same mother-in-law that was sick. We laid the here. She went to go and prepare food for for Jesus and Peter and the rest of that were there to eat. That's the power of relationship. I mean, you want to talk about Lazarus. Lazarus that was dead for four days. That the news get to Jesus. He was dead for four days. He said they should not bury him. They should leave him. The Bible recorded it that because he loved Lazarus and his sisters. After Jesus got there, he was related like he brought him back to life. Why did he do that? It's not part of relationship. When, when uh, John the Baptist baptized Jesus, after he baptized Jesus, what did God do? He sent the Holy Spirit to give a confirmation. He says, See, oh, this is my beloved son in whom I will please. Listen to him. This is God telling the whole world that this one eh, is from me direct. People better give him attention. That is like, this is from me. That is a reference from God. Or when you want to pray, after all your prayer, what do you do? Do you not say in Jesus' name? Because Jesus has already said it that. If you want anything uh, uh, from the Father, you must ask through me. So you go to the Father and be like, God, oh, I'm from Jesus, oh, and he gives you attention, give you priority. Or you want to make everything to do. What did the Bible say? say? Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one come to the Father except through me. So for you to enter heaven, you must come through Jesus. Is that not like saying, like, this is from me? Ah, oh, wow. People just want to twist the message. I, I was just reading the comment. We're like, this is how corruption started. Nobody is saying you shouldn't be qualified. You have to be qualified. But you see, the thing is, even though you are qualified, if you now have good relationship and good contact, it puts you ahead. It takes you from the queue. You don't have to, like, labor for certain things. You don't have to, like, struggle for certain things because you have the right network. You have the right relationship. You have the right contact. This is the power of compression now. This is why they make compression compulsory in secondary school. Like, I don't know why people try to twist message wrong. Nobody said you shouldn't go to school. Nobody said you shouldn't have the requirement. You need to have the requirement. But having the right network, right relationship puts you ahead. That's just it. That's it too. It's also a comedian. So comedians are even commenting saying, I don't get like. A lot of us in your community, a lot of us has been on our platform, has been on our stage. Do we pay him his official fee? Do we even pay him? Some of us, do we even pay him? Why is he coming to do that? Is it not because of relationship and contact that we have with him? Are you not saying that we are corrupt? You short after this video, go to Alibaba, I tell you you are from me. You grant your request. Don't underestimate the power of relationship and contact. Don't let people deceive you.